Hi everybody, my name is Martin Vulcan from Pro Ski and Mountain Service in North Bend, Washington. We are the seller of the spectacular Tech Ramp 1 250 and I would like to show you how to put it together so that it's fitting nice and snug onto the boot. Okay, once you have received your uh, Tech Ramp on, um, you open up the box and here are the contents of the box. You will see two crampons, two safety leashes, two safety leash clips, the front bumper assembly with various nuts and washers, and, and a longer, two, uh, two longer screws for very uh, uh, big boots and an extra uh, set of washers, and the assembly instructions. Okay, so these are the few tools that you need. Tape measure, a Phillips head screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, and a wrench. Okay, now step one of the assembly. You take one of the crampons and fit it to the crampon. You might have to open up this adjustment screw a little bit, and you can just hand tighten it together. So, and then you have to measure the distance between the front of the boot and the front stop bumper support. That's this piece, this triangular piece right here. Okay, you can measure that just with a simple tape measure and come up with an approximate distance. Okay, now I came up with approximately eight millimeters. This changes uh, quite a bit depending on on what boot you have. You know, some like a let's say a Tour Light Tech boot from Benefit has a much has a much shorter or a smaller lip right there so the distance between the, t the, the bumper support um, and the front of the boot will be will be a lot shorter so you will need less um, washers uh, to, to uh, bridge that distance. In this particular case I was able to do it by using uh, the three washers and this nut right there. So I take the the screw and then tighten that nicely together until I have about the ideal distance. Then the next step is to attach this to the boot. Now I have closed the gap between the bumper support the bumper and the front of the boot. Okay, the next step will be to put the, uh, the washer here, the last washer, which also um, is the, the safety strap um, support and, and the final nut on there. You put it on there and then take the wrench and tighten everything up nicely. There we go. As you can see, this whole assembly is really nice and snug. A little tip. When your assembly is all put together, you want to make sure that when the bumper support touches, when the bumper support touches the boot, you want to be on the front end of the DinaFit pins because of the conical shape that will then further once you tighten everything together it will further suck the bumper backwards against the boot and you will get a much nicer snugger fit okay so the last thing we need to do is attach uh, the safety leash and I started by uh, creating uh, an overhead on a bite right here and then clipping uh, the safety leash clip to it right here so then I'm going to attach uh, the other end of the of the leash uh, to this washer uh, with a water knot so and I, I try to make this distance so that it's 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 comfortable uh, to clip right here but you don't end up with an enormous amount of excess leash um, so that you don't uh, on accident trip over this particular leash right here. So 
start out water knot with just a simple a simple overhand knot right here nice and tight so make sure with whatever tool you're using in the field whether that is um, a little flathead screwdriver or a leatherman tool or any you know or Swiss Army knife, anything that has some sort of like a a basic flathead screwdriver function that you're tightening this down all the way uh, goes in there quite far like so so that it's nice and tight this these are the basic assembly instructions for the um, deck ramp on 250 and I'm Martin Vulcan from Pro Ski and Mountain Service in North Bend uh, please send us a photo to info at Pro Ski Service. We'd like to see where you use these crampons. Thank you.